Hey guys, and welcome back to Vitamin Wine. So today is Wednesday. It means we're using U Bucks C. So hopefully we open up like how we did last week. Because last week we were getting some serious plays off. So hopefully that seems like a hopefully cross our fingers work out fine. So this hand's not too terrible actually. It is not too terrible. I'm gonna go ahead and normal summon. Use his effect. Set it to the graveyard. Gave me a Galaxy Queen's Light. Let's go ahead and start it off. Finally, Galaxy Wizard, finally. A couple of these episodes, I have not been seeing you. Now I have to double check the deck and make sure I was running damn Galaxy Wizard up in here. Like, hello? Galaxy Wizard is hella good. And I'm glad that we have him. Uh, I can go, I can go for, uh... I can go for Super Chuck Lee Fudge Cover next fucking turn, actually. Next fucking turn. If I wanted to. I can go the Breeze Dragon, bring you back. Yeah, and I can... Activate Metal Flux Sign, make them all 10, make a super chocolatey fudge cover. Yeah. That, that seems good. It, nice, nice, uh, what is he, 5,000? It's 5,000, right? Yeah, it's 5,000. Are you gonna take your turn? Thank you. Ugh, I am just so frustrated right now. Everybody's driving me crazy. Everybody's driving me crazy. Yes. Set the back row. Yes. Yes. Alright, summon Prisma. Effect. So you're just gonna summon Prisma. <sighs> yes, that's fine. It's all good. It's, it's, it's all good in the neighborhood, don't worry. It's fine. What are you showing me? Okay, so you're gonna send Neos or Glomos, or Panther. I don't care. <laughs> I, I don't like the idea of using my Debris Dragon for this, but what's more important, the Debris, Debris Dragon or the Call of the Haunted? I kind of feel like maybe the Call of the Haunted is much more important, so I'll probably stick with that instead. Yeah. So I guess I will be using my Debris Dragon. Yeah. Of course, he doesn't have his errata. I'm not even sure if we're still getting that errata. But, of course, he doesn't have it, so. Lost his own defense. So, of course, uh. Not sure if he's getting the errata, so. Right now, the only thing I can do with him is exceed, but of course, I'm not. I'm, well, I'm gonna exceed with him, but he's gonna be not what he would usually go into. So, I'm going to. Seven masculine. Effect. Okay, you got three back row, so. Unless they're all freaking bluffs. Seven you back. Fight. All ten. Kinda worried about doing this play, of course, like I usually am with this deck, just because this deck overextends like a motherfucker just to get fucking hit with back row, so. Gotta be sure that everything is okay. Super chocolate fudge covered. Is that okay? Bottomless, of course you have it. See? It's one reason why I don't like this fucking deck. One fucking reason why I don't like this deck. Because whenever I fucking make the plays, I always get hit with back row. Always. Because you don't even want to play this fucking deck. Just because you extend so much just to get hit with back row. So much. Like, look how much all that I had to commit to that play. I'm so down on resources just for his one little bottomless, which of course he had because, you know, opening up with the one, of course. Really? Well, I got like no plays. <laughs> uh, I got like no fucking plays right now. I guess I can call the haunted or something. It's another deck that freaking never worked. I'll probably take you both. Dixie's off. Instead. Extend with the play is way too much to be getting hit with back row like that, so. I just can't think of a different, an, another U Bell deck to replace it with right now, so. I will just keep it the way that it is right now. Yeah, it's fine.
Let's see, I'm so down on resources. Oh, because I went for that play. And I got the bottomless, of course. I said, this deck will probably be taken off just because the planes are just too overbearing. It's nice. It's nice and pretty. You know, it was nice and pretty to make them, but in the end, was it practical? Not even, not even remotely. Not even remotely. I got shut down so damn fast by one damn card. I committed all that to that play just for him to just go bottomless. Of course, of course. And I gotta reset all up again. I gotta set it all up again. Just no. Can't do shit right now. I just can't think of a U Bob activity and replace it at the current time, but I probably will. Well you have to really do the deck while I did it. Not much has changed from this deck since I did the what was it? Three hundred? I think it was episode three hundred deck profile. And it's like one no, it's like 340-something, 46, I think, 346, this episode, I don't know, I think it's whatever the hell it is, so, not much has changed, I think I changed Gale to Spirit Reaper, so, what do you have missing? alright, could have been pretty useful, that's cool. Gonna block me for a little while, but it's cool. Talk to that MST so hard, it's cool. Cool story, bro. We can have Mighty's next turn. He's in here, right? Let's see us. And go see you, bring back you, make it a Mighty's. I can call the Haunted one of you, or make like something. Just trying to figure out what the hell I'm gonna do at this point. My fucking exit time at this point. So fucking down on resources, it's not even funny. A volo chain? Popular operative. Okay. <coughs> I haven't seen that card in yeah, that's fine. I haven't seen that card in forever. Yes, it's fine. Oh my god. That metal fuck song would have been real nice. He would have attacked, I would have blocked, even with Pepper Operative. Uh, you know, he could have turned me to attack, but it wouldn't matter. As, you know, that would have been in mean, battle phase. Card, of course, can't activate during the battle phase. That would have been nice. Now there's no point even making our mateys. No point at all. Cocking up in the sun, the other one's cars on the other side. Okay. Turn it back, but does the fact have to be called haunted? Okay. Fuck it. I gotta exit on. I'm I'm super down on resources. i I have to exit on. I have to uh Something. Okay. That's it. At least I don't have to worry about bottomless. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. Definitely. Definitely exit time. Have to do it. Wow, okay, don't set double limit reverse if you don't have your bell ready. Really? Right, when he draws, he'll have. <sighs> he'll have three, so. I'll still be down on resources. Is it worth setting the call content? Uh. Ch -ch -ch -ch. Yeah, no, no, that's not. He'll draw, he'll have three. So if he'll commit to the attack, of course, I'll wipe him, so. Because I'm still down on resources. Even after next time, I'll wipe him, still down on resources. That's, that's a cool story, bro. Full story, bro. Of course, when I draw, I'll be even. Okay, that's a one for one. Target one. Normal hero monster and great rush summon it. That's fine. So that's a one for one. So you're still up on resources. So if you still try to commit to that attack, I will wipe you. 
your best plan should be to yeah, you know, just pass your turn. Spirit Reaper. Okay. This just declares an attack period. Once per turn, you may be able to your opponent after your opponent has more cards. Yeah. Should I set the... That's the question. Nah, it's not necessary right now. Watch him drop that Neil Swiseman on me. I'm gonna be like, oh damn! Pretty decent position. Neither of us have you bell in the graveyard right now. I think that's kind of funny. Is that you have a dark in your hand? Yeah. All right. Well, six hundred nineteen, two hundred left. Oh, you drew your bell. I didn't. You top deck right into that dark Greffer though. To of course, you know, not only send Twisty Bell, but also. Uh, you know, get yourself to even resources now. So that's good. It's hoping to bank a little bit more on this play, but it's cool. So I'll have 200 life points left. Hopefully nothing happens to Spirit Reaper. right now, I can tell you that. <sighs> I got an idea. I got an idea. It might be risky, and it'll pretty much come down to whether I win or lose just to, to him top decking. I got an idea. So, my idea, of course, is to sit on the Spirit Reaper. He'll attack Spirit Reaper, of course. Uh, use the Call of the Haunted. Summon Debris Dragon. Debris Dragon, go ahead and make a Black Rose. Blow up the field. At that point, he should have nothing, but then he might. He's already used up two of his limit reverses. Like, clearly, I'm only staying in this duel because I'm just blowing up the field. I'm probably going to make Exiton and Black Rose in the same damn duel. It's pretty sad. That's pretty sad. That's reassuring. Wow, he is totally afraid. Mask Chameleon. Well, the only thing that Mask Chameleon can summon back right now would be... Uh, level Eater. I don't have that to cast in the graveyard yet, so... Yup. Activate Call of the Haunted. Is that okay? Yeah, just make a Black Rose. Just make a Black Rose. Then I can still have that. I play up my sleeve. Like I said, at this point it'll come down to top decking. Yes, it is going to be a dragon, of course, because Black Rose is a dragon. Blah. New fact. What was that? Call the Hunter or something? Mystic Tomato. You. I have to say, say something doesn't fucking matter. <laughs> oh, I have not normal summon this turn. I could still do that. These two were supposed to be the play. A little bit. You know, odd bit of how it usually go that route, but it's still fine. Uh, I guess I'll make it on Mighties. Oh, I cannot special summon any other monsters except from the extra deck if I do this play, okay. So. Alright. Of course, I'm gonna drop Phantom of Chaos. Not you bow, Phantom of Chaos, because I have that Mask Chameleon in my hand, so. And literally, it'll come down the top deck, so he'll probably go Yu Gi Oh! draw right into like a freaking dark. Prefer or Mystic Tomato, any, anything. You can fuck me, you can fuck me, you can fuck me. You will p maybe fuck me, depending on how many freaking Neoses he has in the deck, but there's a lot of cards that can just literally just top deck and fuck me, so 
So then see, I hate my life points being this slow. Draw. Oh, oh look. Blam. Like, all right. Yep. GG. GG. Ah, <laughs> uh, Yu-Gi-Oh. Top deck. You got it. Just search for Dark Graffer. Summon Dark Graffer and pat. That's it. Suck it. You got it. You got it. GG. You got it. Oh, another Mass Chameleon. That would have been nice. That would have been fucking nice as fuck. You got it. You got it. GG. Nice top deck. Hate luck. G fucking G. Nice top deck. Just Rota. GG. Like, like I said, any of those cards could have fucked me. I probably could have lasted a little bit longer. I could have probably turned on Megeta Knight to defense mode. Mass Chameleon, Mass Chameleon, bring back Fender Chaos. Went to Synchro. Could have went to Scrap Dragon. Could have went to, you know, some nice, something big and juicy, yeah. Wiseman with your buck. He got lucky the entire... He opened up with Bottomless. He, of course, drew into the Dark Grefford to allow him to pitch you bell to allow him to be even resources with me in my Exiton. And then he top ducked into the Rota. Yeah. I'm, I'm sorry. You, can, you, don't, you don't need Wise... You, know, you don't need Wiseman with your luck. You got lucky the entire duel. The best Camilla would have been hella nice. I'm, I just burned up too much resources trying to make Super Dimensional Chalky Fudge Carpet just for him to have that one now. Luckier than me. I said, you don't need to be lucky. You just need to be luckier than me. So. So I could have went into a lot of other plays if he didn't get that. My life points didn't get so low. If he didn't top deck into that MST to MST my, uh, my, uh, metal flex sign, then I could have not took 34 to the damn face. Yeah. Yep. You, you got lucky the whole door. Don't need to be lucky all the time. Just lucky against me and yes. Hold all. Opened up with the bottom list. Top deck the MST to hit my red reflex line, which I could have used to block my life points. Top deck into the dark grefer to go ahead and pitch to be even more resources, and then top deck into the rota at the last damn second. There was any other card you could, you could have drawn Neos Wiseman. No, you draw into the road to end the duel. No, so all you need is luck. Seems like it. I had Black Rose and fucking Earth trying to fill. All right, I got other videos to record. All right, so there you go. I tried. I tried. But like I said, this deck. I, I try to extend too much and I get punished for it, so. It's a fun deck. Is it a good deck? Not really. Not really. Oh well. I know, at the current moment, I can't think of anything that can replace it. I don't know. I'm starting to get burnt out on different Yubel decks, so. For now, I'll stay, but. I, 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 I'd probably say that it'll probably be the next deck taken off. Just because. It takes too much setup and I get punished if I get stopped. Bad. Real bad. <sighs> Alright, so I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of I'm Alive. So thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. I will see you guys tomorrow with uh, Cosmic Key Bell. Thanks for watching.